guys, what's up? Ragto here, welcoming you back to the Pokemon Platinum Souls Lock. Now last time, we arrived in Hardhome City, and we found out that we could make Poffins here, and I made you guys a promise. I promised that I would have Cat the Feebas evolved into a Milotic by the time this episode rolled around. And I'm sorry to say, that's not a promise that I could keep. Making Poffins in this game with the setup that I currently have, is so stupidly hard and so time-consuming, I'm just gonna wait until we get to Veilstone City. When we get to Veilstone City, you can buy Poffins, I've been told, and I'm just gonna buy them, and then we'll give them all to Cat, and then that'll be that, and I won't have to worry about this anymore, because the amount of headaches that this has caused me, the amount of time that I've been sitting here, wasting away, trying to make Poffins work. It's driving me insane, it actually is. So here's what we're gonna do, you and I. We're gonna take this Feebas, and we're gonna put it over here. Ooh, whoops. And you're gonna sit there for a bit, Feebas, because we're taking on the Heart Home City Gym today. And I'm gonna need all the power I can get, so Executor, you're coming with me. Actually, aside from the shared weaknesses with Ivysaur, Executor fits in pretty well with the team. It's pretty neat, all right. Gym Leader could have anything. Gym Leader could really bust a move on us. The biggest thing is that the Gym Leaders have healing items, and they will use them. I cannot use healing items because this is a Souls Lock. So basically, when we go in there, we're acknowledging that the Gym Leader can do whatever she wants, and we can really just take it. Hello, mister. Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? This gym is some kind of wicked. What's wicked about it? I'll tell you. First, it's pitch black. Oh, no worries, though. I have a, a flashlight right here for you. Well, thanks. Also, the us there are the usual gym lead trainers. They have flashlights, too. I don't know why I struggled to get that sentence out. Also, there are the usual gym trainers. They have flashlights, too. If you cast a light on one or they catch you in the light, the battle's on. Okay, now this is really important. It's all about the tiles on the floor, Morty. First, find the one blue tile in the room and then memorize the mark on it. Next, head for the red door with the same mark on it. Advance through the correct red doors to reach the gym leader. If you choose the wrong red door, you will be sent back here, though. That's how this place is. Go get him, champ to be. Ew. Ew, I don't like that. Alright. Here we go. Okay. That. Okay, alright, I'm getting it. Alright. Just very, very visually bizarre. Alright, so the... It's a square. Okay. I want to battle the people in here, though. I want their experience. But it's a square door. Okay, battle me, kid. Let's go. You and me. Hey, now. You're not even close to the door. The door's literally right there. It's literally right there. What are you... Ooh. That's a Hariyama. I'm going to go for Mud Bomb to lower its accuracy. Or is it its speed? Yeah, accuracy with this one. All right, so... Oh, No! No! Anyone but Sugalite, please. Leave Sugalite out of this. She's done nothing wrong. Alright. It's probably... Let's go to Tropic. It's a little... Ooh. A little non-optimal now that I've got the, uh... The Sandstorm up, but hey. Tropic can take it. You know, when you stand all day in tropical heat, you learn how to deal with some sand. That's a deadly burden. Delibird is not a scary Pokemon, but Tropic does not like Delibird. Let's go into Sup. I mean, Powder would be the easy choice here, but... Okay, I was really hoping that you were going to give me a nice present, and that I could compliment you, but... Oh, thank you, Delibird. So nice. See, Delibird, you are an okay Pokemon after all. You're dead, but you're okay. Was that guy's name Nurse? You're a little young to be a nurse kid. But hey, follow your dreams, am I right? Follow your dreams! Alright, let's go. Boo! Did I scare you? This battle will. See, these people are talking smack, but they don't have ghost types. That's a cool Pokemon to have, though! That's a goddamn Kingdra! And it's using agility. Please take this mud bomb. Alright, I said please take this mud bomb. Ah, nice and lowered accuracy. Now, engage in sludge. <laughs> ha 
Uh, you can't hit me with your water gun from your long sniper nose. Alright, well. Thank you for making a fool out of me, Kingdra. That's a... Oh my god. Muck is doing well in this gym. Alright, we should train somebody else for a little bit. Let's take the lucky egg from Muck. Uh, do I want to lead off with Tropic? I'm leery about that. I really am. Ah, let's do it. Let's give Tropic a little love. Wild Vine's pretty close to evolving. Everyone else is at a decently high level. I, I think Tropic deserves a little chance. A little chance to shine. Besides, we've been trading Brawl and Wild Vine way too hard lately. Alright. Square door. Nice and easy. Alright, so the blue door in here is a moon. Let's go look for the moon door. It's a Game of Thrones thing. Okay. There's a trainer up there. Oh my god, this is Oh my goodness. This entire place is just one big booby trap. How unfair. I call cheating. You all cheated. Take the sludge. Oh my god, Muck! <laughs> oh, and I forgot to put Tropic in the front too. That's fine. Because Muck was destined to win this fight. <laughs> it's destroying the Electabuzz. Just like it destroyed that Breloom. <laughs> was that Youngster Joey? We'll never know. Up to the front, Tropic. I need your strength. Alright, so wait. That's like a weird sun thing. Okay, it is a, it is a sun thing. <laughs> That's a target. That's a moon. That's a trainer. Oh, they've got ace trainers in here? Fantina. You've got a class act gym. Poet Bob. <laughs> Poet Bob. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Hi, Bob. How's it going? Having a very good uh, poeting lately? Oh, don't you dare. Alright, well. I figured it might... <laughs> Since Tropic destroyed my team with Stomp. I figured that it might work as well in return. Turns out, it does not. But, Sugalite, on the other hand, engage in... <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Didn't mean to, uh... Ooh, that's a Leapion. Sorry, Bob. I didn't mean to rain on your parade at all, man. No, I got a lot of respect for poets these day and age. You can't really make a career out of it anymore. Just because, you know, no one cares. <laughs> that's mean. I shouldn't say that, but I did. Be burned by my fire, Levion. <sighs> this game makes me so nervous, man. Like, I know... <laughs> I like to think that I do a pretty good job of hiding it. But every now and then... Oh, wait. Padu was on low HP. I'm scared. Every now and then, I'm reminded that I can't heal in battle. And every now and then... Protecting yourself from my crits? Nonsense. Me first. <laughs> Yo, if I had gone for Dragon Rage on Charizard, I would have lost Charizard to my own attack. That would have been insane. But that that's what I that's exactly what I mean. Every now and then I get brought back down to reality by how punishingly difficult it is to not be able to heal in a battle. Like main series Pokemon games kind of thrive off of that. They they give you so much so much leniency. Because if things get hard, you can just pop an item and make the problem go away. And you can't do that with this. You just can't. It doesn't work. Whew. It, it, it gives me a lot of tension. <laughs> it really does. I don't know if I show it, but golly. Some days I dread recording this because I'm like, what awful thing is gonna... As if on cue, as if on cue, as to remind me what I am dealing with. Oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> That's insanity. I, I literally almost just jinxed Tropic there <laughs> by pointing out that I am afraid of dreadful things happening in this Let's Play. 
And then something dreadful almost happened to my executor. <laughs> Unbelievable! A whale lord. That's a whale lord. <laughs> what is going on with this game? I didn't mean any of it. I'm sorry. I take it all back. This game's wonderful. It's amazing. It's perfect. I've never said anything bad about it. Please stop hurting my Pokemon. Please. All I want is to finish this game in peace. It's all I've ever wanted. When I started this, I want to finish it. Please let me finish. Please don't kill my friends. Oh my god. Oh, this game is so hard. Alright, if she's not through the next door, we're going... Or if she is through the next door, rather, we're going back to the Pokemon Center. Get out of the way! Oh my god, are you serious? At least they give you alternate paths in this gym. Could you imagine if they did not? Try... Target... Moon. Please be in here. Alright, she is. So I'm gonna go back and heal the Pokemon Center real quick. What a magic door that takes me all the way back here. Guys, I'm so nervous. This gym leader is gonna be so scary. I mean, everyone else in there had a Kingdra and a Whale Lord. And oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna. Ooh, I punched the pop filter. I'm gonna get killed. Fantina is going to turn me into one of her ghost type Pokemon that she doesn't have in this game because I randomized her. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let's, let's take stock of what we've got here. So we've got Executor. Maybe shouldn't lead off with Executor, maybe lead off with Wildvine instead. We've got Charizard, we've got Sugalite. So I don't really have enough Held items to go around. Alright, here's what's gonna happen. You are going to give me that Lucky Egg, I'm gonna give it to Wildvine. I'm gonna lead off with Wildvine so that we can Leech Seed the first Pokemon. Then, you are going to take the Poison Barb that I picked up so that your Sludge Attack is going to do more. And now you're going to go up in the front. Or maybe I should lead off with Teddy Ursa because it's not very bulky. You know what, that's a plan. We're going to lead off with Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa is going to take hits for the team. Hopefully it'll evolve. Or, not, it's not going to take hits for the team. Teddy Ursa is going to do damage, and if things get hairy, we'll just switch it out to one of our bulky Pokemon. And that's how we'll do it. I hope I haven't just made a grievous error. But, you know, you gotta go with your gut. And, right now, my gut is asking for food. <laughs> so, I really just want to get this battle over with so I can eat, because I haven't eaten for a while. And plus, I just want the tension to go away. <laughs> I don't want to deal with the nonsense anymore. I don't want to deal with trainers having stupidly good Pokemon. Is this the moon door? Yes. I just want it... Did I... Oh my god. Anyway, I just want things to go back to normal, please. Wait, do the symbols change? The symbol changes every time. It just happened to be that first time. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> The game was leading me on. Alright game, I see your game. I see what we're playing here. Oh, and there was a trainer in here that I missed. How nifty. I I am enjoying myself as a matter of fact, though. Thank you. He's got a Polytoad! Do you see what I'm having to deal with? And he used a... And Perish Song. Unbelievable. Alright, you're catching this muck. Are you ready? Bubble Beam. Nice, and everything mucklose. Take this. Okay, wow, that Polytoad is bulky. Stop! Be nice to Muck! Oh my god. Brawl goes to level 28. Muck almost gets to 26. I think that would have made us overleveled, though. Jeez Louise, guys, I'm so scared. <laughs> I don't want to do this. My Pokemon are going to get so hurt. Ooh, I do not like that it's not completely full. I can't heal in battle anyway, might as well blow one more potion on it. <laughs> Who knows, maybe that 4 HP will make the difference. Alright, so we got target door this time. 
Targador is the second one, right? Right? Please, no more trainers that I haven't battled yet. I'm. I just. I want to. I want to not be at risk anymore. Hi, Fantina. Let's go. Ooh, she has a little twirl. Oh ho ho! Finally, you have arrived. Since I came to this country, always I tried to learn new things. That's a good thing. You should always better yourself, guys. They hold contests in this city. I say to myself, in fin, I will excel. That is why I dress this way. Six une performance. Also, I study Pokemon very much. I have come to be gym leader. Gym leader. Like, <laughs> a bit of a German in there. So, uh, it shall be that you challenge me. But I shall win. That is what a gym leader does, no? Well, I mean, I guess, honey. By the way, my French accent degraded severely between the first time that I met you and meeting you. Ooh! Oh, you rocket girl! Weightlifter Max, you. Ooh. Ooh, that's a golem. She let off with a golem. That's that's not cool, Fantina. That's really not cool. You shouldn't have done that. Okay. Question. Do I risk the switch into Wild Vine? Or I'm gonna go into Tropic. I'm gonna try to put it to sleep. Alright, you ready, Fantina? You're gonna get hypnosis. Do you remember the episode of the show? Magnitude 8. Alright, we resist that. We should be good. Yes. Yes. Yes, excellent. Now go to sleep. Do you remember the episode of the show where Ash has to catch all the Executor? And that got... What was his name? Like, Melvin the Magician? Has his Execute Hypnotize Ash? That was funny. <laughs> that was a funny episode as a child. It, it, it's like... He's this corny magician, and he can't do any magic tricks, but he has a Psychic-type Pokemon. So he tries to catch Executor, so he'll have a Pokemon army. I think it's to make them use Hypnosis so he can have a captive audience. I can't really remember, but that was the episode where Ash's Charmander evolved into Charmeleon, and a downward spiral of Ash's coolness as a trainer began, because he couldn't control it. Rock throw, alright, you can take that Ivysaur, right? Ouch. <laughs> I mean, you took it, but golly. Wild Vine. Do you, are you okay, man? Like, do I need to play you in the backyard? <laughs> Oh god, I amuse myself way too much. Alright, thankfully we've got Bullet Seed though. And Golem gonna go down in the end. It's one Pokemon out of the way. I had a scary one to begin with. You gonna level up? No. Vulpix. Alright, that's a pretty tame Pokemon. Not one I want to leave Wild Vining against, but that's a pretty tame Pokemon. I think... Going into Sugalite would cause me problems for the rest of the match. I kind of want to go into Brawl. Mm, let's go into Sup. Because I feel like the Vulpix might try to burn me, and Sup has only special attacks right now, so he's not going to... I knew it! I knew it! I'm a Wi-Fi battler! <laughs> I'm the greatest Wi-Fi battler that ever was. Now, take this sludge. In prison? What moves are you going to have in common with a Muck? Actually, saying that, Muck weirdly gets some, like, ghost-type moves, and Ninetales weirdly gets some ghost-type moves. Honestly, Ninetales should have been the original ghost fire Pokemon. Oh, do you have a Steel-type? Are. You. Kidding me! Are you kidding me? Are you serious? <laughs> That's not real! You don't have a crowd on. That's impossible. Oh, that is so not funny. That's not funny in the slightest bit. Oh, I don't know what to do. All right, I'm kind of predicting the ground type move. I want to go into Padu. And Padu can dodge the earthquake slash magnitude. Please don't go for rock slide. It went for slash. Okay. Let's see how much... Wait, the sunlight's boosted. What do you think he'll do more? Dragon Rage was a guaranteed 40, or Amber Under the Sun, which is stab. Let's go for Amber. Let's try it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Le oh my god, no. Padu, Padu, Padu! Uh, damn it! Damn it! I just lost Charizard. 
Just I just lost charge. Right? Oh, I'm sorry, Padu. I know you love Charizard. I know that was your favorite Pokemon. I know I just got it killed. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. We're going to have to get serious now. Slash. You can take the Slash. Come on, buddy. Come on, Wildvine. We got the Sleep Powder off. Okay. Next up, we're going to go for Leech Seed. Then we're going to hit it with Bullet Seed. Oh, and the weather lasts forever in this game. Take this Leech Seed. Stay. Oh, my God. Thank God. It stayed asleep. I might go into Sugalite and let Sugalite handle this in the end. What did it show? It's shown the slash, it's shown the ancient shown the ancient power. How much am I gonna get back for this? Decent amount, but oh god, I'm so <laughs> No, I'm not I'm not risking, I'm going into Sugalite. Please don't wake up and go for a ground type move. Please, I beg of thee. Please, just stay asleep. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Alright, now we'll chip it down a little more with the Leech Seed. <sighs> I can't believe I just lost Charizard. I can't believe that just happened to me. I can't believe the Gym Leader has a Groudon! <laughs> Not a Vulpix and a Groudon, man. <sighs> you know, this wouldn't have been a problem either if I hadn't been incompetent and managed to evolve Cat. This wouldn't be a problem in the slightest bit, in fact. <sighs> I just... <laughs> I, I should have known it would have had ancient power. I should have known. That's my fault. It's my fault that Charizard just died. If I had been attentive, then Charizard would still be alive, and I would have a Charizard, and this Groudon wouldn't be out here going toe-to-toe -to -toe with my... Oh, come on. Went for Slash. Didn't go for Magnitude. Does this Groudon not have anything good? Like, seriously? I mean, <laughs> not have anything good. It killed my Charizard. But it didn't appear to have, like, Earthquake or Magnitude or anything like that. Wildvine survives, though. Wildvine trying to learn growth. I don't think I have the room for growth, so we're gonna not go with that. Unbelievable. Un freaking believable. They had a ground on. She had a ground on. The whole time, and she switched into it. Like a genius. You're smart, Fantina. You're a smart person. Oh my god. Rock slide, please, just end it. It's got flamethrower. It has the best fire type move in terms of damage versus stability. Thankfully, no burn. And the rock slide. Gonna finish the Vulpix. Thank you, Sugalite. Thank you. You are so fantastically strong, I know now I have lost. I am dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You, your Pokemon, so strong. Your power is admirable. I shall honor it with this gym badge. Thank you. Now please give me a Pokemon to replace the Charizard that you just killed. That badge will let you use the hidden move Defog outside of battle. Also, you can make use of this technical machine. That is what I think. TM65, is that Shadow Ball? Shadow Claw, well, a very startling move it is. It hits, it hits turn critical often. It hits turn critical often, okay. Thank you, Fantina. I sincerely appreciate your contribution to my TM roster. You still killed my Charizard. Oh, Ragtar, you beat the gym leader. There seems to be no end to how tough you are getting. At least that's how I see it. You do realize I say that to everyone, right? Wow! Wow! Coming in here taking my moment. I'm sick of that guy. Who invited him? Honestly, that's literally like walking up to someone on the street and saying, Hey man, I really like your clothes. You've got super duper nice clothes. Those clothes make me so happy. I want to I want to donate my entire house to charity. But then you don't do it. And then you go up to the next person and you say, "Hey man, I love your clothes. They make me want to donate my entire house to charity." I'm sorry, Padu. I should have been better. This death box is so depressing. Oh, Meanie went in here by accident. Gotta move Meanie to the appropriate box. 
This death box is literally... It kills me. Ah, Charizard, Camerupt, Snowrunt, Swablu, Slowking. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I hate it. I hate that box. Okay, so here's my plan. It's time to bust out Serenity and start with the training of the Chansey. I need something bulky. I am tired of losing my Pokemon to these powerful threats. I need Blissey. I need it in my life. So I'm going to work on training up Chansey and Blissey. And in the next episode, we'll probably be moving on to another route to try and replenish the team a bit more. Wait, hold on. Let's take a look at our town map real quick, because there must be areas I haven't explored yet. Underneath us is Route 12. 212, rather. And over that way is Route 209. What do you think, guys? Where should we... I, I want to end the episode off on an encounter. I want the chance to redeem my team a little bit. To, to put us back into good standing. I think we go down to Route 12. Or 212, rather. And we look for a Pokemon there. Hi there, cow people. I'm... Can I leave? Can I leave? The contests are interesting, but the ruins of... Alright, so I can't go that way. Alright, to Route 209 it is. I forgot that there's like a cowboy town in this game. That's kind of cool. Like, I like the variety that Sinnoh brings to the table. You got a snowy part, you got a cowboy part. What more could you ask for? I'll talk to that guy later. Oh, not you. I want to leave. Ta-da! Kept me waiting again, Ragter. Let's see how much tougher you and I have gotten right here, right now. Hey, you're a trainer now. You're expected to be ready for battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get this show started. I wanted to catch a new Pokemon so that I could have something to train for the next episode. And he's got a Loudred. Of course you do. All right, Brawl. I believe you can take it on Loudred. Hit it with your return attack. Nah, nice and powerful. Get destroyed, Loudred. And a Poliwag. Get destroyed, Poliwag. Thanks for the rain dance, though. That makes my Pokemon feel good. And a Murkrow. Get destroyed, Murkrow. Oh, that kind of hurt a little bit, actually. Take this. Ah, uh, my Orenberry coming to the rescue. And last Pokemon, a Pichu. Aww. Oh, oh, but wait, I've got Quick Feet. Haha, <laughs> you've helped me. All right, Solaire, thanks for the battle, buddy. Wah! Just goes to sh- it goes to show my surefire winning strategy doesn't work. Hey, say hey, Ragtor. Remember what I told you before? Make sure all your attacks hit. Avoid enemy attacks. I thought that was a wicked strategy, but it doesn't work worth beans. <laughs> I guess I have to grind it out and toughen up the team a bit next time. Anyway, I'm off to Salation Town. See you later, Ragtor. You'll be shocked by my growth the next time we meet. Okay, let's try one last time to get an encounter for the episode. Oh, but wait, hold on. Gotta unparalyze old brawl. Oh my god, my team is so hard, I forgot to go to the Pokemon Center. Hold on, burn heal on muck. And then we'll blow our other super potions. On muck. On wild vine, and then brawl. I just, I want something... Because Serenity is going to be hard to use. Because we don't have a good TM. So if I can replace it with something that would be a good battler right here and right now, that would make me so happy. Alright, what do we got? A Jolteon! <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Alright, now how best to handle a Jolteon? I think going into Wild Vine and using one cut... And then going for Sleep Powder will do the trick. Alright, Jilteon. Ooh, I'm excited. I love Jilteon. Take this cut. Alright, we can go for one more cut. Sand Attack. Okay, now we're going to go for Sleep Powder. Uh, probably going to miss because of these Sand Attacks. Alright, we're going to switch out into Executor. And Executor, Tropic, my dear friend. You are going to go for the Hypnosis. There we go. Nice and sleepy, Jolteon. Now, please, Jolteon, I have just suffered a tremendous loss. I lost my Charizard. 
Do you know how much that hurts me, Jolteon? I need a good friend right now. I need something fast. I need something strong. Jolteon, you fit the bill perfectly. You're awesome. You're, th you're one of the coolest evolutions, if not the coolest. Everybody likes you, and I want to like you just the same. So please, Jolteon, come along with me and be my friend. What do you say, Jolteon? I'll give you the premiere ball, too. Will you be my friend, Jolteon, please? I am the Pokemon Whisperer. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Jolteon, the lightning Pokemon. If agitated, it uses electricity sh to straighten out its fur and launch it in small bunches. Hmm. Well, I am going to think of a Jolteon nickname off camera because I want to give it a good nickname and not something stereotypical like Zappy or something like that. So I am going to end the episode off here. If you guys have enjoyed, then please let me know with a like and a comment down below telling me just how much fun you've had. And please leave some words of respect for Charizard, who went too young. Wasn't even at the full level that Charizard evolves at. That's how young it was. And I will see you guys next time when we return to the Pokemon Platinum Souls Lock. Until then, be sure to take care and have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye!